engineer 775 here wanting to talk about uh, having backups to backups this is my solar water pump uh, controller I've had it for uh, six years a little over six years well it stopped working the other day and I think it was due to a lightning strike and a windstorm and this light here this tank full light was on it wouldn't go off and I did uh, some troubleshooting and the solar panels fine nothing's going to ground so I isolated it down to this circuit board not what I wanted to find but I, at least I found why it's not working this uh, part of the circuit board is toasty I don't know if you can see how black it is and it stinks so melted this toasted this board $330 component and there's nothing that can be fixed it has to be replaced yeehaw okay so this, what does this mean to me well this thing's been working beautifully for six years and now it's first first glitch first failure a lightning strike so I called around and got a new circuit board coming to me and the enclosure on this thing cost more than the board so getting a new circuit board sent to me um, and so what do I do how do I water the retreat how do I get water to the cows and the chickens and potentially to our home without my solar pump controller well I'm going to show you that now shortly uh, I do have a backup well the ram pump is running that supplies the water to the cows for backup and I've got uh, so I've got four days to make sure that I have water so I've got the ram but I'm also going to show you a very inexpensive option for pumping water. So to continue the video, this is where the charge controller would was. And my breaker box. Here's my spring with a submersible pump that's in the in my spring box here. And this is how I that's my backup, a little PTO pump on the tractor. And I can hook it up to the existing lines. I've got a I got another line that I hammer drilled in and put a foot valve down at the bottom and so I can uh, pump the water out of the spring into the existing line and get fill that water tank. The water tank's uh, 135 feet in elevation above this point and uh, that's why I recommend an 8 roller PTO pump. They make a most even the cheap ones make at least 200 psi and um, plenty of pressure to get you up to uh, well 200 psi gets you 400 and oh, 460 feet or so in the air and I'm pumping about 1200 feet to the tank and so I'll start her up on this third part of this uh, video so this is my backup to my solar pump if it uh, if the solar fails whether from a lightning strike, um, any any other failure, this is my backup. And if this fails, then I go to the ram pump. And if that fails, I am done. <laughs> oh, phone's ringing again. Okay, the tractor's running, and we're pumping water out of the spring with a little PTO pump. Up. It's filling that tank up on the hill. I'm pulling the water out of here. And we have, uh, oh, look at this little spider. Ah, that's a big old spider. Woohoo! <laughs> ah, jumpy. Anyway, <laughs> okay, pumping the water out of this cistern and filling the tank up on the hill until I can get my controller back mounted on the box there and uh, check my grounds everything else is checking out really good I'm um, just gotta get that circuit board in here and uh, how will I know if my tank is full when the water starts coming out of this hose I got a return line and so when the water starts coming out of this hose I will know that I am full so we'll see how long that takes alright this is my backup to uh, lightning strike 
or windstorm that took out my controller. But again, I still highly recommend pumping water with solar. And um, it's been working great in here. I don't know if the video will pick it up, but you can see the solar pump is a stainless steel pump at the at the um, bottom of this drop pipe. You see the pump? I'm going to actually wiggle it so you can see the pump moving back and forth down there. And that's a Lorentz solar pump, DC pump. Okay. Thanks for watching. Here I am up at the cistern. Let's see. Uh, Possibly see some bubbles. I don't know if it'll come up on the video. But you see the water line, that dark from light to dark there, that line. Right about here. You'll see uh, see some bubbles. It's sucking a little bit of air down where I hooked it up. But that's okay. It's filling up. This tank was that's a 1600 gallon tank and it was empty, close to empty yesterday. And so I just pumped a little, pumped that cistern just about down to the bottom, and I'm about to fill it up. I've got an overflow again on here, so when it reaches that pipe, the water will return back to the cistern. And uh, so I've got about eight inches to go. But there's uh, plenty of water till I get my circuit board in for the controller, and I'm at 1200, 1400 gallons right now so anyway it's my crazy setup here uh, but it's worked really well for many years at least uh, six years now so here we go um, once I get up to that pipe we'll go down and prove that the when the water is full that the water returns and comes back down to the spring okay. all right the water tank is just about full up at the top Oh, look at that timing. You saw that, folks, on video. I caught caught it. I got so excited because the, I've never done that before. That means that the water tank at the top is full. <laughs> um, so anyway, I'm about to take a shower here. When the water starts coming down, again, it's not being pumped down, just gravity fed, so it comes in surges. But that means... Uh, the water coming back from the full tank. Oh, I know my tank is full. Put this little return line in here so I can aerate. This is coming from the tractor, pumping up 130 feet, filling a tank, and then returning down. So this is how I know that I'm full on the hill. So, gotta love water. A little aeration going on here. I haven't shocked this thing in a while. I put a little uh, shock in it, a chlorine tablet in it, just to uh, stay ahead of the algae up in the tank. And this will keep it all the lines flushed out. And there we have it, folks. Okay, I shut the tractor off, and this is the water that's still coming back top of the tank, so this will taper off here shortly as it comes down to the overflow level. I'm going to shock this thing. It's been, uh, I didn't do it last year. It's a test to see how long I could go without treating the water. A little dirty here. We're going to take care of that in the next couple of days. So, a little spring maintenance. Get this thing in top shape and get the controller back on here next